Hey everyone, this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub and in this video we will talk about WordPress patterns and when they become more important and powerful as compared to blocks or or we'll also see when you need a pattern instead of a block. So WordPress as we know that ha comes with a bunch of use very useful blocks which are the in individual elements for a website such as a headline, list, paragraph, um code uh, image gallery etc as you know as you can see but uh while designing a website we search for some stuff that, or kind of elements that are missing from the blocks area by default such as a team testimonial pricing uh, so uh, in generally we search for uh, such elements such design elements or components whatever you want to uh call it so we search for that under the blocks and we don't find them uh, uh by default in the core so we all we generally uh search for those as a custom blocks but i want to uh, show some light or show some direction here that we can actually create those elements either they are team card such as this one a testimonial card such as this one and a features card or and a pricing table etc there are different kind of elements that we can create directly in wordpress and save them as uh, patterns uh, which WordPress allows us to do now uh, since uh, recent updates and we have this feature already in the stable version of WordPress I'm sure and so that you can create your own library of those elements uh, as patterns instead of a custom block uh, which is not required in many cases so let's see how we can do this and we, how we can create our own ui kit or patterns library that we can reuse uh, as similar to blocks so let's say we don't have a team uh, block already available for us and we don't want to go for hunt for a custom block plugin for that what we can do is we can utilize these blocks to create a theme card and save it as a pattern so just for the demo you can create your own design uh whatever way you want uh but for this demo i'll go to the wordpress pattern library if you are not aware wordpress.org has an official patterns library which is a public library where you can go and hand for uh, your desired elements such as uh, let's say team and then from there you can there are a bunch of nice designs available you can copy them they are all free to use and you can use them on your website as it is or can do modifications uh, as you need so i've picked a uh, a couple of them already for this tutorial so here's a nice team card blog which i like uh, for this demo let's say i want this on my website and want it to be reusable so i'll just copy this pattern and go to my uh, wordpress uh, site editor let me show you <clears throat> you need to go to your uh, editor and this will only appear if you are using a block theme if you're not using a block theme you won't see the site editor uh of this uh this cannot be uh available for you so make sure you are using a block theme for this so as you can see there are different options you can create navigation styles pages templates and patterns so this is what we need to talk about and work on for this video so go to the pattern section and here you'll see all your patterns there are different kind of two types of patterns you can create one is sync pattern and one is a non-sync pattern a sync pattern is kind of a reusable block replacement where when you create a sync pattern and you use it on multiple pages or posts etc and if you make change to a single instance it will be replicated to all the instances it have it is useful when you need to let's say inject uh, an advertisement or a banner or promotion and different places of the website and you want to make sure uh, that whenever you make a change it reflects on all the instances but in our case we'll create a parent so anyways uh, just uh, click on this plus I on here to create a pattern and it will ask you to create a camp template part or a pattern for this 
demo we are uh, for this tutorial we are creating a pattern a simple we'll name it a uh, team card so i don't want to check this toggle as i don't want it to be synced so just create it it will take me to uh an editor a different kind of editor you can also create this here and save it as a template i'll show you in a while so i'll just uh, paste the copied code from here which i have copied uh, recently so i'll just click here and hit uh, command v or control v to paste it or i will right click and click on the paste option here and there we go we have this sometimes uh, these patterns come a bit broken and shows you to attempt recovery that's fine just click on this and they should be working fine so uh, here we go so but uh, I don't want this complete uh, pattern to be saved and reusable because I want one card uh, because I'm kind of uh, uh, mimicking it as a block so I'm using a pattern as a block uh, trying to use it as a pattern as a block so uh, I will just remove everything else from uh from this design because i've not created my own design as what well. i would have just designed this single pattern so i'll just quickly uh go through and remove additional stuff this is not kind of part of the tutorial so i'm not going to explain it so here we go we have this card here let's say this is a single card or a custom block so i have this image here and then i have a name i'll just uh, call it name here and then um, designation designation and uh, these are the icons i have and that's it so uh, let's say this is your custom block created so i'll just save it save hit the save button and that's it now this should be available for me in my patterns library as you can see these are my patterns as you can see i have a team card so think of it like a custom block now available for you if i hit refresh here for on a page now i can uh, create a team for example i'm creating a team page and then if i go and find for a team card it should be available sorry team card uh um one second it should be available in the patterns my patterns and here as you can see it's not uh, searchable but it is appearing here so instead of blog searching for the blogs in uh, team and the blog section um i can search for it uh in the patterns or uh to my surprise if you search for a team you also see this as a carrier so you don't need a custom blog for a team card you just click on this and it appears as it is as you can see this is very really nice and this is kind of a custom block for you because now you can from here you can change your um, uh, content to whatever uh, you want and uh, this kind of uh, working similar to a custom block so let's say I wanted a three column uh, team card so all I need to do is just uh, get, take a columns block and make it a uh, three column let's say two column for this demo and I'll just uh, basically either I move it to one column and then I could duplicate uh, or and then I can go to this column and search for a team card again and I can insert it again and make my other customizations as I want so as you can see both are uh, this, this this works uh, kind of similar to how the custom blocks work so you have all the options here in the sidebar as well these are all individual blocks kind of a composite element which uh, combines different uh, core blocks into a, a custom element component block pattern whatever you want to call it but but uh, without the technical terms it works the same it's kind of working as a block uh, as well for you so you can similarly create other all the other elements you want for your website think of them 
um, although they are patterns, but think of them as custom blocks, uh, custom components, your site UI kit, whatever you want to call it. So you can create similarly, uh, you can create your own library here and this will be available to all your pages. And and there we go. You don't need a custom block plugin for this. Uh, you don't uh, need to rely on that. You just use the power of the core blocks and the functionality what best provides you in terms of the patterns creation system or the patterns uh, library. And you can have your own a very versatile um, UI kit or site uh, branded site design components elements for you to use throughout your website. Hope you find this useful uh, video useful. Please make sure to subscribe to Gutenberg Hub. And by the way, uh, in the last, I also want to emphasize that you can't create everything from uh, this technique. Like there are uh, cases when you will need. Uh, you will really need to have a custom blocks there are many uh, cases uh, there are many cases you can use this technique uh, and um, feel not to use a block but uh, on the other place there are cases when you would have to use a block for example if you need a tabs element on your website if you need a slider element on your website if you need a timeline element and uh, so on there are some creative uh, elements for a website that you can't uh, rely or you can recreate uh, them as a pattern uh, using these blocks uh, unless uh, you are a good programmer or a coder and know javascript or and some other coding uh, that way you can create your own uh, custom blocks as well but otherwise you will have to uh, find uh, useful block plugins uh, and for that I would obviously uh, recommend uh, to visit our shop uh, at shop.gutenberghub.com and we have a bunch of really useful uh, blocks developed uh, and we only create uh, unique and creative uh, blocks that otherwise uh, uh, won't be possible for example a query collage tabs accordion etc all kind of creative blocks you can find here which are hard to create this way as the technique I explained uh, from the patterns so make sure you visit our shop as well and we also have an all access pass for you that you can join and get access to all our products thank you for watching take care